So in this video, I'm actually going to be doing something a little bit different than usual. So basically, I don't have a drone, right? So I can't get cool aerial shots of locations. But a while back, one of my friends actually sent me a video of this thing called Google Earth Studio. And he was like, yo, you should really make a video about this. So basically, what Google Earth Studio does is it lets you get like fake drone shots of any location you want in the world. You just keyframe from point A to point B and it'll make a video of it. So I was planning to try it out, but I didn't want to until I made a video. So in this video, I'm actually just gonna be trying it out for the first time. And hopefully it will even be a good enough drone substitute considering that, actually probably will considering that I can't just spawn randomly on any part of the world I want. I actually have three different locations that I wanna try to make fake drone shots of and I'm not going to tell you them until I actually do them so you'll learn along the way. So now that I'm in Google Earth Studio, as you can see right here, I'm just going to open up a blank project. Okay, so I'm just going to go 30 FPS and then also duration. Let's go just a little shorter than that. How about like 10 seconds? Okay, now I'm just going to start. Okay, wait, so I'm actually confused. I don't know how to get to the location. Oh, right here, search. I figured that a great place for the first location I would try it out with is Cape Town, South Africa. So let me just search Cape Town. So now that I'm here, I just want to figure out how to get close. Do I just zoom in? Oh, yep, yeah, that looks like that's how you do it. So what I'm looking for right now is like the cliff side with basically the town on the cliff or even just mountains, really. Now I figured out at a point up kind of like forward. So now this looks like it'd be a pretty good shot to start here and then kind of like pan around as it goes to the side. When in doubt, just use undo. Okay, this is actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And now I'm going to try to get a cool orbiting shot kind of around the side of the cliff. So first, I'm just going to keyframe everything at the beginning of this clip drag the play ahead to to the end of the clip actually and now i'm just going to try to find a way to move to the end to the position i want it to be at okay now let me see how that looks oh wow that actually looks pretty cool so that's what cape town south africa i guess looks like on google Earth studio okay so i just spent a while i watched a youtube review and i tried to figure something out and i can't figure out how to render it but for now, I'm going to move on to the next location, which is actually Moraine Lake in Canada. So what I'm looking for is actually the place where Peter McKinnon got the bucket shot. So I wonder if there's actually some way to change the weather, like change what season it is. I just found a solution to all my problems I've been having trying to do this. And I'm just going to use one of the quick starts they have. And I'm going to use an orbit for Moraine Lake. Now let's see if this is a little bit easier. And now that we're here, I will select this lake as the point of interest. So I'm still trying to figure this out, but basically there's the radius here. So that just looks like how close you are to the subject. And then there is the altitude and they have other things like target altitude and start heading and things like that. What I want is just an orbiting shot of the lake. I mean, it does look pretty cool. Not as good as a normal drone, of course, but I have one last location I actually want to try out. And I don't even know the name of it, but I know what it looks like, and I have it right here. Let me actually just copy it from Notion. It is in Iceland, though. So what I'm actually looking for is the plane crash in Iceland. Multiple people have made videos of it. But since that doesn't seem possible to find, or it would at least take a super long time, the next thing I'm going to try is just Key West, Florida. And the great thing about this is there's no high structures like mountains or buildings obstructing the view of the orbit, so it'll be clean straight through. Let me just zoom in a little bit, change the altitude to a little bit higher, actually just so you can see the horizon too. So this is what it looks like full screen. Honestly, for it just being Google Earth, I'd say these shots look pretty cool. I don't know if they're necessarily usable in a video, but I think that they would work pretty good if you're just trying to see the location in a cool way. It's definitely a step up from having no drone. So final thoughts, I think it's pretty mid actually, but I think it's still a great thing you could use if you're trying to like just get an overall view of a location and just being able to see that many places and still plan out a shot is just really cool. I still wouldn't use it if I was making a cinematic video of something, of course, but is it still cool? Definitely. Since this video wasn't in-depth or professional at all, I'll probably just link it in the description so you can try out Google Earth Studio for yourself. And honestly, if you came up with something really cool and you uploaded it to YouTube, Make sure to link it in the comments because I'd love to check it out. I know this video kind of felt like a fail, but hey, I tried it out and now I know that it's not something that I'll be using that much in the future. If you managed to make it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.